it's time to change uh, this policy. It's ridiculous and it's absurd. If you can't trust your soldiers, then why do you have an army? Well, we're hearing criticism this morning of military gun-free zones. That's been lost since 1992, but after the deadly shooting rampage in Chattanooga, should it be? This picture is heartbreaking. The windows to the recruiting center shot up with a sign banning firearms. So were those Marines left sitting ducks, and should this policy be changed to make certain it doesn't happen again? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, Chris Grolneck. He's a Marine Corps veteran, and Amiki Konst is the director of the Accountability Project. Thanks so much for joining us. Mickey, you just heard it from a man who was there at Fort Hood several years ago when a crazy person came in and murdered uh, many of his compatriots. He said, if I had a firearm, I would have been able to stop the massacre before it continued. Why shouldn't he be able to have done that? Well, the reality is, is that there is a directive that was signed under George Bush Sr.'s de uh, Department of Defense saying that there are specific trained officers at military bases who are allowed to do so or any, any area where there is military presence. So where were they? Uh, that, that's a good question. But the reality is, is there should be someone there and they're not always protecting you. I mean, the, just last year, we, the first there was, a, there was a shooting on a base and the first person to be shot was that trained professional. This is not something that's been proven to be more effective at defending people. And in fact, most military personnel, experts in this, have said that by making gun free zones, you're just opening up the opportunity for massive shooting sprees because 34 percent of the trained individuals are shooting effectively. Uh, so, I mean, Chris, you know, I, I'm not a veteran, but my understanding was that most soldiers and Marines were by definition trained to use firearms, correct? Maybe all of them, you would think? That's, cr that's correct. I mean, Marines are, um, right. every Marine's a rifleman, no matter what their job is. So they're all trained in weapons and they're all experts in what they do. So what exactly is the point of this? Why of all places would you ban a military recruiting station from having armed men? I, I, I'm totally confused. Well, they're not, they're, not well, banning, but they're not banning them entirely, well, that's what we're saying. There is an exception to this rule for trained law enforcement right. military. That's not true. Law that's, enforcement, they're all trained. That's not We've true. They're, no, they're, no, there's they're actually banned. a, specific, there's a okay. more specific Tucker, type of training. Again. Chris, you're served in the Marine Corps. Chris, your view. Okay, sir, in these gun-free zones, that, what she's saying is like, be like calling a police officer to a gun-free zone and saying you can't come in because you have a gun, but if you or your family were in there, you'd want that police officer to come protect you. So these recruiting stations are akin to that. They should have these trained officers inside the recruiting stations that are recruiters. There's a period of instruction or a block of instruction that they could add to the recruiter school, make one person responsible for carrying a firearm at the recruiter, and that way they're not just sitting there waiting to become a target. They're actually, they can actually welcome in the public, and if a threat prevents, or presents itself, they can prevent it. Threat detection is key here. Right. Prevention is, it's like reading a book backwards. These policies of gun-free zones, are we're not learning from our history. In 2009, this exact incident right. happened and, in uh, and the first person shot, shot, shot was that person. I'm going to give you an opportunity, just a second left, to state very clearly why a room full of Marines trained to use firearms as their job should not be allowed to defend themselves with firearms from Islamic Because Australia. every single expert in this area, trained military professionals, has said that is a guarantee uh, that is a, there is a guarantee of a shooting spree for that to happen. That is so like the you have one person threat. trained. That's what you're saying. The no, Marines no, 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 are no, no, the real no, 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 no. no, by having many guns, you could have the guns stolen. You could have them all targeted. I mean, the reality is the gun shoot that's themselves? ridiculous. No, they were it's, at an but it's armory. true. This they is were just at an facts. Right. Then why okay. is it that every they military an professional that's an okay. expert in this issue is, is, disagrees with you? Okay, we are out of time, unfortunately. Great to see you both. Thanks for coming on for that debate. Thank you.